Hey guys, this is Alex, and I have a new toy that I took apart and figured I'd take a little video of putting it back together. This is an Anchor Loss padlock. Here's the box that it came in. Made in Finland, I believe, or Sweden? Sweden. Kind of neat. Um, appears to be stainless steel, very shiny. And it is a disc detainer lock. Um, that's part of why I bought it. This is what the key looks like. Let me get the thing out of the way. And there's just a close up of the key. And you can see the bedding in there. And um, it's very subtle. So these are full cuts. As far as I can tell, that's a zero, it's a zero, zero. And then there's like a one and a two. And then this one is like a five or one off of full. So that's the tolerance, it's a tiny bit. It's a fraction of a millimeter. Key, this is an Abus plus key. And you can see the difference in width. So it's a, I don't know, quarter, three quarters of the width, maybe two thirds of the width. Um, it's a little thinner, I think. Maybe a little bit thinner, no warding. Um, but you can also see that the cuts are perhaps a little bit smaller than on the Avis. So, a little higher, probably a little higher precision uh, lock. There's the top. So, each, each disc, there's little spacers, each disc has a, a notch at the bottom that lines up with the sidebar. Okay. And this is the unlocked position, so I can take the key out. I'm not going to remove it all the way. But you can see how much of the key is blank up until you get to the bidding. And then when you turn this, the first 90 degrees or so moves all those little wheels. And you can see the notches in there. Um, let's get that all the way. When those are all aligned correctly, then of course the sidebar can go in. I don't know how well you can see, but that has moved into the little slot. That's why the wires here is help keeping everything together. Now when you turn it further, so when I, as I was turning it this way, just the, if this is the locking area, this is the locking area, as I turn it further, a couple of these discs, which are known as zero discs, these are places on the key, like here. Oops. Here, here, and here, where there's no cutout. Which means that the wheel turns all the way, full rotation, and it runs up against the side of this little window here. And when it does that, now when you twist, you're pushing on the plug as it were, and that if the sidebar has retracted then it is able to rotate and unlock the lock. They all pretty much work this way. Um, it looks just like an abloy on the inside. In fact it's almost an exact replica of an abloy um, with a few small differences. Um, so what was cool about this as opposed to an abloy is that the um, the core is removable, and most of the abloy locks it's not, so there's this little set screw, which, am I still in frame? Yeah. There's this little set screw that goes into this hole with a Torx driver and holds, engages into this slot in the, um, this little retaining bit, which is, I assume, some kind of hardened steel, um, engages in there and keeps you from removing it, so like Bill's trick of prying the thing out. I guess if you put enough force on it, you might break something, but you're not gonna just pry it out. You're gonna, it's gonna probably break your tool before anything happens. And if you're ever fiddling with one of these, it's really, really, um, it's really, really fiddly about 
getting all these little things in there and aligned properly. So pay very close attention when you're taking it apart. And I would re recommend leaving the key in because it'll help everything stay in because you've got to have something to pull on um, to get it out. Um, you can see this disc here, even in this position, wants to fall out. And if they're not just exactly aligned, it won't, it won't work right. So that's the uh, anchor loss um, padlock. I'll put it back together and maybe get a quick shot of, of it working. I'm back with the Encore Loss Swedish Disc Detainer Lock, which I have now reassembled after a lot of fiddling. Um, if you do take one of these apart, I strongly recommend doing it in a spacious, clean work area and proceed with caution because there are lots of little pieces that like to go everywhere. Anyhow, um, so here's the lock. Um, here's the key. Here's me staying in frame. Insert the key. It has a, as you can see, the key. That's how far the key goes in before it hits the discs. And then it goes in like that. So it's actually a little hard to aim at for whatever reason. So it comes all the way around, opens, and there you go. You can see the, maybe you see the ball bearing with my little bit of lithium grease in there. And then lock it back up. Now, the obvious question is, will I be picking this? Um, the answer is not anytime soon, but I'll put it on my hit list. Um, and uh, some of the other disc detainer guys would maybe like a shot at it. Uh, let me know and we can maybe do a, a swap. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Have fun. Keep it legal. Cheers.